today I am going to cook a curry and what you need for your curry is obviously your curry paste my curry paste here that I have bought. You can buy curry paste from a lot of areas, just follow the instructions. I have cut up one onion into tiny little itty bitty pieces. I'm hoping you can see that. I have my chicken all nice and cubed there. Cooking oil, a teaspoon of sugar, coconut milk. I have to admit though, if you go to Lidl, uh, a lot of coconut milk is just, it isn't really all coconut milk, it's just like partially coconut milk, but this should be um, full fat yumminess, is all I'm going to say, like 99% coconut, okay? <laughs> and chickpeas, okay? So we're going to first start by cooking our onion with our curry paste. See you soon, guys! So as you can see, I have added my onions and they are nicely cooking. I am going to add my bolty curry stuff now. So I'm just going to open it up and then I am going to plop it in there because obviously I'm doing this with one hand because I don't have another hand to hold this with. <laughs> oh gosh, right. Squeeze it a bit and then hopefully that will come out. Right, there we go. So, right. And then I'm going to add the other one. And obviously, when I've got the camera off, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to make sure to go around it. With... A spoon. Just to make sure I've got all of the yummy goodies into my pan. Right, there we go. Right, now, let's get our spoon in and mix this up so it's all nice and yummy. So, as you can see, I have added my onions and they are nicely cooking. I am going to add my bolty curry stuff now so i'm just going to open it up and then i'm going to plop it in there because obviously i'm doing this with one hand because i don't have another hand to hold this with <laughs> oh gosh right squeeze it a bit and then hopefully that will come out right there we go so right and then i'm going to add the other one and obviously, when I've got the camera off, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna make sure to go around it with a spoon, just to make sure I've got all of the yummy goodies into my pan. Right there we go. Right now. Let's get our spoon in and mix this up so it's all nice and yummy. So now that I've got that nicely mixed up, I am now going to add my cubed chicken. There we go. I'm hoping that that's actually got into the pan. <laughs> I'm going to stir that around a bit, get it all mixed in, flip it over a bit so that it gets all nicely covered. Now I'm going to cook this for a little while and then once it's completely cooked, or at least mostly cooked, I'm then going to add my coconut milk. So as you can see, I am continuously moving the the chicken in here because I don't want it burning the, the seasoning to kind of burn to the bottom of the pan so I keep it moving and I keep it nice and hot and simmering just so that it cooks basically now remember the smaller you cook your you cut up your cubes of chicken the quicker it will cook 
Okay, just as a, a little hint there, uh, for those of us who are blind and may struggle with ensuring that it is cooked. So now I am going to add my coconut. It's going to come out like a big lump, I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh gosh. It's quite difficult, this. It is quite difficult to get out the tin. Right, so. <laughs> right. Here we go. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going to give it a good poke. <laughs> this is going to make terrible footage, but yes, I'm, I'm getting it in there gradually, gradually, because it is quite solid. Right, okay, so give it a couple of secs and I'll have it in there and then I'll show you it. So here it is with the coconut milk added. It has gone all nice and quiet now. So <laughs> and I have scraped the bottom of it to make sure that there's no clumps of yumminess stuck to the bottom of my pan and now all I'm going to do is I am going to put the lid on and wait for it to boil and then I'm going to add my chickpeas. So now to get your chickpeas ready. So obviously open your can of chickpeas. I've got mine open here and you know sometimes people just open half the lid and close the lid and then let all the water out of the chickpea by holding it over the sink like this, okay? Um, now the thing about chickpea, the, the water that the chickpeas are holding, it absolutely tastes disgusting. So make sure to hold it, pour it out and make sure that none of your chickpeas and all of the water ends up going out of, you know, your, your can. Okay, I've got a colander here at the bottom here um, so that I can put my chickpeas into this colander and then wash them because you have to wash them before use because they'll still be covered in the water that tastes absolutely rank, okay? So I'm going to turn on the cold tap, make sure it's cold. We'll fry them under and just give them a rinse, okay? Shoogle them round, give them a rinse. And then right at the end, I'm going to pour them in to our cubby, our bowl tea. All right then, see you soon, guys. So, a couple of songs on the Alexa later. And hopefully this will have cooked the chicken as well. So, I'm going to lift up the lid. Oh, gosh. Gosh, it's hot. Oh, an awful load of water. There we go. Because to be honest, when you lift up the lid, the steam and the water, it just drips over everything and you don't want it switching off the thing. As you can see here, it is lovely and hot and yummy. And I forgot to add our teaspoon of sugar. So I'm going to just add a teaspoon of sugar now. So now I'm going to mix it in with the chickpeas. Well, hey, let's see if I have a long enough arm to grab the chickpeas. <laughs> Woo, there we go. <laughs> Thank God I've got a long enough arm to do that with. I'm gonna find the pan and I'm gonna pour them, pour them in. There we go. <laughs> that is the sound of something cold hitting something hot. Now I am really hoping that I got rid of all of the horrible tasting water that comes with your chickpeas. And then I'm just gonna stir that in there. Sorry about the camera angle, guys, but it is only just me doing this, you know, <laughs> cooking for my parents today. There we go. And there's the chickpeas in our bowl tea. And then I'm going to put the lid back on and let it, let it cook for a little while longer in the hope that it'll all be fully fledged and fully cooked and ready for serving up to people. I think it's a two-hand job. Here it is, all served up with mango chutney on top. I love mango chutney on top of my stuff. 